My name is Zolshius. Once a novelist. But after losing my memory, I couldn't complete any valuable writing. Now I'm just a private detective with my clients. Until I receive this strange request. Investigate an infamous estate and find a man's lost daughter. Besides the check, it was the name on the letter that intrigued me. Not Orpheus, but... Nobody knew but me. Somewhere that's been deserted for ten years. This room's a remarkable condition. I think I'll stay here for the night. But it's too dark in here. I need to find an alternative light source before the fuel in this lantern runs out. Thank God. The candles here still burn. There should be some more on the wall. Most people do not possess. 
By reading the text, I can attempt to reconstruct the scene and even find out information about the author.
fireplace, but no diary. That's not so, but something else has attracted my attention. The unburned firewood. The chimney has been sealed off. It seems the owner didn't use the fireplace, and its true purpose remains unclear. There must be some more clues around here. This candlestick is... I think I know why there's an extra candle here. It's firmly attached to the fireplace. It seems to actually be a part of the fireplace. This is pretty important.
content of a few scattered diaries is connected. I think they're describing this. According to this entry, the author describing this game is a doctor. The entry from this doctor is more detailed and complete. I think this would be a good place to begin.
don't apply to the hunter. The hunter has hindered everyone since the beginning, regardless of their actions. But how was it that no one resisted the hunter? Was it because of the hunter's strength, or has everyone simply yielded to the hunter's dominance? Does the hunter take pleasure in this game? Or to put it another way, is that the re it is ironic that the emergence of the hunter has forced this group of people who had opposing interests in the beginning to work together. I need to find out more about the situation. The information on the hunter is key. I need to know what he wanted to do next. Technique, patterns, disposition, traits, everything.
These thorns were apparently used to protect things that he didn't want others to touch. Or to trap those he intended, even if someone wanted to try their luck. Their location would surely be exposed, because of the accompanying scream they would let out when pricked. Simple, yet effective. I think the hunter must have used a pair of iron gloves to avoid being pricked by the thorns. simply content to live with this new identity. Things rarely turn out as one hopes. I was quickly discarded by the public since I could no longer write anything of significance. And the detective firm that I started wasn't getting any worthwhile cases. I gave up on myself and turned to drink. I began having this episodes. After drinking heavily, I would wake up the next day with cuts all over my body. Sometimes I would come to only to notice strange objects I would not normally use next to me. At first I chalked it up to alcohol-induced blackouts, but even after I sobered up, the situation persisted and there were no signs that the episodes would stop. It got worse, and the blackouts lasted longer and longer. In the end, I realized the root of the problem, at least according to my neighbors. It wasn't memory loss, but another soul in my body that had awakened. I don't trust the other guy. Even now, I don't know what he's done while I was asleep. <gasps> I need to prepare for the worst. If he really had something to do with this, I need to be able to prove my innocence. 
Who's going to believe me when I say that two souls can exist in one body? This is not a time in history when people believe in things like witchcraft.